Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe it! Are you freaking serious? Oh my gosh! What? 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 You've got to be kidding me! A freaking snakehead! I just caught a snakehead! Oh my gosh! Oh gosh! He's broke my ride though. Guys, this is the coolest fish that I have ever caught. I have always wanted to catch a snakehead. I cannot believe I actually have this fish in my hands here in Arkansas. Oh my gosh. I caught him on a little wacky worm. He broke my rod though, but it's all right because he bro I broke it on a snakehead. A freaking snakehead, let's go. That is so sick. I mean, look at the patterns on that guy. They don't call them snakeheads for nothing. They have that beautiful like Burmese python coloration to them. That is so epic. This is so crazy. This is the northern snakehead. This is an invasive species to the state. These guys come from all the way over in northern Asia. These guys got to the state like 10, 15 years ago, but I never thought that I would ever actually catch one. This is insane. I, I literally don't know what to do right now. This is insane. This is crazy. This is so crazy. I'm over here in this stagnant, nasty pool of water. I was, you know, thinking maybe it might catch some bowfin, but no. A snakehead. A freaking snakehead. And he broke my rod, but that's okay. I have a story to tell. A northern snakehead broke my fishing rod. Now, this guy isn't a monster by any means, but this is just so unreal. I can't believe it. I can't believe I actually had this fish in my hands right now. I mean, look at this. Got this amazing coloration. You can see where they get the name snakehead from. First of all, they have this big old long body, kind of look like a snake. Crazy big mouth, crazy eyes. They have this insane like Burmese python pattern to their scales. I mean, what an incredible fish, but highly invasive. So I'm gonna try to figure out some way to maybe get this guy on a stringer because I know that I'm not legally supposed to let this fish go since I caught it. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna try to rig some sort of stringer up and uh man i'm gonna cast up there and see if we can catch another one that is so crazy i'm like shaking up i can't believe i just caught a snakehead so what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna make a stringer out of some braided line i have my casting reel here this is 50 pound braided line i've made a lot of stringers on the fly before and hopefully this will hold that snakehead on there okay so i'm gonna start off by just tying a loop on this end right here of the braid just like this hopefully that'll hold be nice and strong. I mean, these fish are vicious. They have some sharp teeth in there. All right, there's my loop end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this end of the braided line up through that snakehead's gills, out of his mouth, and then I'm going to cinch him onto this thing. And I guess I'm going to tie him to my camera bag. All right, we got our snakehead on the braided line. Hopefully that'll hold. I'm a little nervous about the teeth cutting through it, but we'll see what happens. Man, I cannot believe it. Look at that. Nice little snakehead, probably about 14 inches long or so. But he's got some meat on him. So wild, so epic. Now we have to tend to the sad news is that I actually broke my fishing rod. I'm not sure if it was like he did a head thrash and broke it over on the boat flip, but broke about two and a half inches off the tip of my spinning rod, which is so sad because I love this rod so much. It's a six cents divine rod. It's been very good to me. I'm gonna have to get another one. Oh my gosh. I, most of the time I'd be pretty sad about breaking a rod, but in this moment I couldn't be sad about anything unless I got snake bit. But even if I got bit by a snake, I'd still be happy because I just caught my first snake hit. This is the bait I caught him on. Just a stupid little five inch little finesse worm on a little wacky rig. Nothing to it. It looks pretty shallow. I was just kind of just working it around, seeing what would bite. And I mean, he bit pretty quickly. All right, we're rigged back up. Let's see if we can find ourselves another fish out of here. Maybe another snake hit. That'd be so crazy, especially if we caught an even bigger one than the one we just caught. Be crazy to see a big one come out of this little tiny pool. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is that? What is that? What is that? Is that another snakehead? What is that? Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's not a snakehead. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. He's trying to kill me. He is trying to kill me. What? Guys, look at this. That was like literally two casts later. We've got our native bowfin. Look how similar these guys look to the snakehead. They love living in these same environments. And it's just so crazy that we have both these fish living in the same pool. Wow, like I said, this is a completely native fish. But one thing about bowfin is that they really aren't the best eating. But what I've heard 
is that snakehead make excellent table fare. So while we're gonna keep that snakehead, of course, because it being invasive and because it's supposedly super tasty, we're gonna let this guy go. Oh shoot, he is ready to go. Man, what a crazy fish this guy is trying to literally kill me. Let's send him back. Nice, let's go. All right, so I'm upsizing my gear a little bit. I've got a little quarter ounce, six cents divine swim jig on. There's a lot of grass. There's a lot of scummy stuff. I know that snakehead and both and alike like to hang out near the edge of the grass. They'll ambush prey. So the idea is that I'm gonna swim this thing next to the edge of the grass and hopefully you wanna come out and crush it. Got one, got one. Oh, he came off. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? That might have been a big snakehead. Back in the day. Got him. Got him. That's a big fish. That's a big freaking fish. Is that a snakehead? It's not a snakehead. It's a bowfin. Big old bowfin. I think. Get him up here before we lose him. Yeah, it's a bowfin. Oh, yes. Look at that. Big old bowfin on the swim jig. Woo, that was crazy. He fought so hard. That is epic, divine. Six cent swim jig right there, quarter ounce, black light, the water is dark. And that guy came unglued for it. He's about to smoke my cheese if I don't get a better hold of him here in just a second. Nice, beautiful bowfin. Probably about three and a half, four pounds or so. Got that six cent divine swim jig right there in his cheese. Let's get him unpinned. Got him hurting us. And we will send him back on his way. Hey, tell your snakehead buddies that I would really appreciate it if they would eat my swim jig. Let's let this guy go. Let's see if we can catch ourselves another snakehead or another bowfin. Gotta respect the bowfin. These guys are truly ancient fish and they don't get the love that they deserve. They are so much fun to catch. We'll see ya. There he goes. Let's go. Let's catch another one. Got him, got him. That's a snakehead. It's a snake head. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought it was a snake. It's not a snake. It's another bowfin. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's another bowfin. Oh my gosh, he bit it right there at the bank. That was nuts. There we go. There is our, is that our fourth fish? I think it's our fourth fish. We caught two nice big bowfin on the swim jig. Caught that other little bowfin on the wacky worm. And then of course we caught that snake head first thing on the wacky worm. That's bigger than the last one. And he bit it right by the bank. I can only imagine what a snakehead this size would feel like fighting. Yes, that six cents divine swim jig right there. Let's go, let's get him unhooked. Let's get back out there. Peace. He tore up my craw. I mean, my little craw trailer is just decimated. Like he completely ruined that thing. It's like in pieces. Let's get another one real quick. No big deal. There's a fish, big fish, big fish. I think it's another bowfin. I think it's another bowfin. What is this? It's on the wacky worm. It's another bowfin. Gosh, the bowfin are insane out here. Come here. Woo! Get up here. Oh, wait. oh, he got away. That was crazy. Another bowfin. <laughs> Dang. I wish I was using just straight braid. I guess I could be. This is, I have white braid on this thing, which that doesn't seem to be ideal. So I've got this 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. Oh, I can't horse him up here as well as I can with my, uh, my bait cast rig. Dang, I got so much of that nasty water in my eyes. It's not even funny. I don't care though. I don't care. We caught a snakehead today. We're gonna make a few more casts in this spot. There's some more spots that are a little bit easier to access without having to worry about getting uh, destroyed by cottonmouth. So we're gonna make a few casts here. Then we're gonna climb back up on the bank and hit these other holes out here and see if we can maybe link up with another snakehead or something, but we're gonna make a few more casts here in this spot. Fish, big and big old fish, big old fish on the swim jig. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, it's another bowfin. Oh, I think it's our biggest bowfin actually though. Stay on, buddy. Oh, there he goes, we lost another one. I'm gonna try one last thing before I head out of this spot. I really need to go, it's getting late and I really don't wanna step on a cottonmouth. I'm gonna throw this popper out there a few times. I've seen a lot of videos of snakeheads crushing topwater. 
Um, I think a frog would work, but I'm gonna try this top water popper because it has the exposed treble hooks. It's gonna give me a good chance to get a good hookup ratio. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He crushed the top water popper. I do not know what this is. Please be a snake. Please be a snakehead. I don't know. It might be a snakehead. It might be a snakehead. It's a bowfin. It is a bowfin party out there. Oh my gosh. I have never seen a bowfin crush a top water popper the way that one just did. That is insane. I gotta be very careful not to get wrecked by these treble hooks because this guy is probably gonna go nuts. Look at this bowfin, guys. What another beast. That guy came unglued for that top water bait. I wish I would put that on sooner because that was so epic. Oh, oh. It's pretty hard to throw it out there because there's so much sludge, but if I can get it in those little holes, I can just pop it in place and let the fish come to it like this one did. That is so freaking crazy. Oh man, I hate that I'm running out of time and then I've got to go, but send this guy back. And uh, we're gonna have to get out of this spot. I can literally like hear the cotton mouth start crawling. And you know me guys, I'm not afraid of cotton mouth, but I am not wearing the proper gear. I was not expecting to come out here into this swampy marsh area today. I've got sandals on, there's tall grass everywhere. It's just not a good situation to be in. So I'm gonna gather my gear and we're gonna get back on the road. All right, we're walking out of here. This is literally the sketchiest crap ever. Really not a fan of it, but hopefully I don't get bit. I'm just gonna pray that I don't get bit by a cotton mouth. Oh, through this swampy marshy stuff, it's like floating grass. Hope it doesn't fall through. I made it through once, I can make it through twice. Oh, please don't be no gators. I'm just gonna hustle. I stayed out here way too long. All right, thank God we made it out of there without getting bit by a cotton mouth. I literally couldn't see a single spot where I was putting my foot. That grass is just so swampy. It's just perfect cotton mouth environment. But we made it. And we have about, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of daylight left. Walking down the road over here, there's another spot over here that has um, a lot more open area to cast. Maybe catch another bowfin, maybe get lucky and get another snakehead. It's been a great day, great afternoon of fishing. I did not expect this. I was literally just coming out here, just kind of exploring, kind of checking out new areas trying to maybe target some bowfin, some bass, and what do you know, northern snakehead appeared. All right, let's get down here. Let's get our bait rigged up. Let's see if we can catch one more fish. All right guys, well when we last talked, I was gonna try to catch one more fish on the top water bait in that little culvert pipe area. That didn't work out, it got dark. The mosquitoes tried to carry me off out there into the marsh with them. It was, it was crazy, so I decided to just pack it in and head back to the house, which is where we're at now, and we're gonna pick up the video I have my little snakehead buddy in hand. I still can't believe that I've got this guy here. He doesn't look as good and fresh as he did at first. I wasn't planning on keeping any fish. I didn't have a cooler with any ice, but luckily for us, snakeheads are air breathers and I don't even know, he, I don't think he's alive anymore. I bonked him, so he should be dead and should be ready to clean. Not a monster fish, but I am very eager to clean this fish and see what the meat looks like from videos and from what I've heard, they have like the most beautiful white meat and supposedly they taste delicious. So I'm gonna get this guy cleaned up and get him ready to be cooked up very soon. So I guess I'm just gonna clean this fish like I would clean any other fish, just cut behind the pectoral fin, run the knife blade all the way down to the tail. Let's see what this looks like. Wow, that's weird. I was not expecting that. This guy's bones are weird, so his ribs are actually down here a little bit further down. I was expecting them to be up here like when on a normal fish, but they're actually right down here. Kind of made for a weird cut, but the fillet is looking really, really good. I was not expecting that. It comes all the way back here. It looks good. It looks like just an ordinary fish. Snakeheads are weird, guys. Flip it over. It's got no red meat. Look at that. And there you have it, folks. We've got a handful of some fresh snakehead fillets. This meat is very strange, but nonetheless, I am very excited and eager to try this out tomorrow. We're gonna get this guy rinsed off really good. We're gonna get the little bit of bones that are left in the fillets cut out, and uh, we'll do the official taste test tomorrow for lunch. All right, guys, it is now time to finally cook up and try Northern Snakehead for the very first time. I thought I was gonna cook these up for lunch, but it's actually dinner time now, 
and I am beyond excited to see how this fish actually tastes. I've got it breaded up just in a basic cornmeal and flour mix here. I'm not trying to overdo it, not trying to add a whole bunch of spice or anything, just because I want to be able to taste the natural flavor of the fish. I've got my fried daddy heating up down here below me, and I figured it'll take about the same amount of time to cook these fish fillets as normal fillets, so I'm expecting to be eating some fresh, hot, and hopefully crunchy and delicious snakehead within the next, I don't know, six, seven minutes or so. So let's get these bad boys down in the deep fryer and uh, let's get our grub on. Here's our first filet going in the grease. Oh yeah. This is going to be awesome. Let's get our second filet out. Nice looking piece of fish. Woo! All right, we'll let those bad boys cook in there for about five or six minutes and uh, we'll be ready to taste northern snakehead for the very first time. Those are looking excellent. Let's pull them out of the grease bath. That's what you want to see right there, folks. Golden, crispy looking, and definitely going to be delicious. I wish we had a whole basket full of these. Well, I say that, I've never tried it, but I have high hopes this is going to be one of the most delicious pieces of fish I've ever had, just by how hyped it is and how many videos I've seen people eating these fish. Anyways, let's get these guys off of here. Get them onto here. I mean, those are beautiful fillets. Look at that. The meat has a good, firm texture. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that. I think the fish has cooled off enough now to where we can finally do the official Northern Snakehead taste test. So I've got my filet right here in hand. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna bite right there into that top meaty part right there. It still feels pretty hot, but I literally cannot wait any longer for this. I've waited my entire life to try a snakehead. Here we go. Wow. That is phenomenal, guys. Look at this. Look at that. I always show you guys what the meat looks like. That is so white. The flakes are kind of like a medium-sized flake. Wow, that was so freaking good. I can't believe that. It was not a myth. Snakehead meat is so delicious. I might have a new favorite fish on my hands right here. This is a delicacy. <laughs> this is so great. Let's get another bite real quick. Guys, I could literally eat this all day long. This is so good. I'm gonna have to call Jay out here. Jay's in the house with baby C right now putting him to sleep. I think the fish will stay warm enough. She has got to try this. She's not gonna believe how good this fish tastes. Okay, we got Jay and baby C out here and they are ready to try Snakehead for the very first time. This better be good because you are interrupting our story time. Hey, I promise you it's worth it. I was gone all day yesterday and this is worth it. it I promise. Be. I promise it's worth it. Cypress, it's worth it. He said, it's kind of hot out here. I'm in my sleep sack. Okay, we'll make it quick. Okay. Make it quick. I saw it whenever you brought it home. It did not look very appetizing. <laughs> he, you know, he honestly did not look very appetizing, but this is going to change your whole perspective. Hmm. Look at that. Let me show the people that again. Okay, that, that meat looks pretty good. It almost looks like flathead, but it's like the shape of like a large mouth. Oh. Huh. doesn't make much sense, but just go for it. Just be ready to have your taste buds tangling for the next rest okay. of your life. What the heck? That's good. That's good, oh isn't goodness. it? Like how I'm not good? expecting it to be that good. It's That's like stupid really, good, isn't it? Yeah, dang good. It's kind of like walleye. Now I think about it, it's almost like walleye. It is, yes. That's the comp. Mm-hmm. Walleye. It tastes like walleye. Cypress, she likes the snakehead. Do you like the snakehead? Uh, bite, Mom? Heck yeah. I know you do. Oh my gosh. I already gobbled mine down. <laughs> that is so good. I'm not even kidding. We gotta go back and catch some more. Look at that, guys. She can't stop. She's still got some snakehead in her hand. For real? <laughs> this is amazing. It's so crazy. This you might be the best fish I've had all year. As you guys saw, the northern snakeheads are just very beautiful fish, and it's so great that they taste as good as they look. And, I mean, we might have a new favorite fish on our hands. <laughs> really? That was literally, like, the best piece of fish I've had all year. Yes, it really was. <laughs> and it could just be because it's different, because we're so hyped and jacked, out, jacked up about it, but, I mean, we're not kidding. Northern snakehead. Let's delicacy. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's so good. I think that's honestly how they got in the state anyway. I think if there was a fish farmer, he was raising them to sell as a delicacy and then they got loose. <laughs> so thank you to that farmer, I guess, for making <laughs> it possible for us to catch snakeheads all these years later. And maybe we'll catch a few more in the future. But of course, we'll always be keeping them because it's illegal to release them back into the water, as far yeah. as I know. This is where we're going to end today's episode. I want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with me yesterday out there in that marshy, ditchy swamp area. Was not expecting to catch a snakehead. Like I said in the video, I was planning on trying to catch some bowfin, some bass, 
But when I caught that snakehead, it was like all I could think about. And I was tweaking from the moment I caught that fish <laughs> until until now, really. I'm still tweaking about it. So if y'all enjoyed the video and you would like to see us go out and try to catch some more snakeheads in the future, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. We're, We're Colin J and Baby C, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, Bye guys. Night. Woo. Night, night.